So we have a triple pulse uh, hip thrust slash chasm glute bridge combo. Okay, so you're gonna need a bench or a box, soft box, a sofa, a hip thruster, a pill, like whatever you got, make it work. If you're at a gym, use a bench. Okay, this is unlikely to be there. So with this, you're gonna go all the way to the top. Okay, then you're gonna do one, two, three pulses, and then all the way down. If you're familiar with the two kinds of hip thrust, a hip thrust and a glute bridge, or chasm glute bridge, you'll know that the chasm glute bridge is just a 20, 30% pump at the top because it's a little bit more glute focused. Okay, so here you wanna think about three things. Also, if you've done hip thrust, you know these already. Tuck your chin, tuck your hips at the top, vertical shins. Film yourself and see if you have vertical shins, if everything looks good. Also, the fourth thing is at the top, you wanna to push into the bar so it's on the top of your quads and not on your belly, okay? It's inherently not comfortable to begin with, so you kinda of have to just deal with that. It should be fine. People do it, I do it with hundreds of pounds. Um, but if it feels painful, something is wrong, okay? See if you could film yourself and watch what's going on or send it to your coach. If I'm your coach, cool, send it to me. <laughs> so I'll do a couple of reps. So remember, you wanna be upright. You want this to be on the middle of your back. All the way up, okay, push into the bar, tuck chin, tuck hips. Down, one, two, third pulse, three. All the way down, all the way up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Also, notice how the first thrust off the ground doesn't count. Then you do one, two, three. Okay? That's it.